astrobiology is the study of the origin, evolution, and distribution of life in the universe. So the big question, is there life beyond Earth? And we have been probing that question now for a couple of decades. So over my career, there have been two fantastic game changers. The first one is exoplanets. So when we started, we didn't know of any planets beyond our solar system. And now we know thousands and thousands of these exoplanets. And more to the point, we know the statistics that tells us that there are more planets than stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And the second game changer is extremophiles. There are lots of microbes and other macroscopic animals that have evolved to uh, be perfectly happy and uh, be content in these very harsh environments, boiling battery acid, frozen in ice, the bottom of the sea where there's no sun, deep inside the earth, and there's life. So the combination of planetary real estate and extremophiles that it can exploit all kinds of resources means that today the universe appears far more biofriendly than it did when I started out. I think by exploring our own solar system, lots of moons and planetary bodies, there's a not insignificant potential for discovering life. And of course, while that's going on, SETI scientists will be looking for signs of technology elsewhere to see if any of that life might be smart. One obvious thing is to look for communication signals, something we do a lot of. We're looking in both the radio and the optical, and now we're just beginning to start with the infrared. And we're looking for signals that appear to be engineered. They don't look like the kind of natural emissions that we get from astrophysics. So if we find it, we have a lot of confidence that we've either found new astrophysics or that we found someone else's technology. The understanding that we are not alone helps us to understand how we fit into the cosmos, how we calibrate ourselves. And it's been a question that humans have asked ever since they started asking questions.